Morning girls, how we doing? How we doing? So, we are here, we're all here, we're going to catch up with some Amber Lynn Reed, the, the thing that y'all know I've been dreading and also definitely looking forward to so, so much. Pretty much I realized suddenly it's like, oh, well, I'm like six episodes behind here. I probably should actually get to the point where I'm actually trying to like catch up here. And I know people are probably like, okay, well, do, do you want to see like a video from six videos ago or whatever? Like, do you want to see me like put up a video going like, hi, uh, emergency vet visit, cook with me and let's go to Target. Something that came out probably like, I don't know, two weeks ago now at this point. Um, so I thought, why not? We'll start to catch up. Uh, I don't have a lot of time tonight here. Uh, so like, I'm probably going to do maybe about three episodes. I'm thinking we'll do about three episodes. I don't know why I call them episodes. I always refer to them as episodes. Like this is part of like Game of Thrones or something like that. Like see how emergency vet visit goes for, I don't fucking know, one of their animals. Um, and we'll, we'll kind of go from there. Hopefully do the three episodes, like I said, and then maybe do like a video to catch up on the other three. Uh, I have no idea. We've got about 40 minutes of content to go through here tonight. So it's going to be super exciting to say hello to everyone who's here first. Uh, Smokey Pondu, how you doing? Bookworm Addict, hey, girl, well then, hope your area is getting new green on trees, if not in your pocket. God, if I wish it was in my pocket. Uh, but yeah, I'm starting to like come back to life over here. My lawn is growing incredibly fast. I'm very sad about that. Um, Lisa Bear, a diary of becoming fatty, Blonde Shadow, Erebus, Charlie's Mom, Ira, Fred, Pearl Life Choice Simulator, um, Jody, Beanbag, hello to everyone, how are y'all doing? So yes, so like I said, we're hopefully, I'm hopefully going to have this be about an hour and a half long. That is what I'm hoping and praying for. So like I said, I've got about 40 minutes of content to go through. We're on 1.25 speed, so fingers crossed we plow through it. Uh, and we're all caught up on the Amberlynn lore because I, I think she's been doing like lots of stuff recently on um, uh, like Instagram, like Instagram Q&As because I keep seeing like people's like title video titles like referencing her being crazy on like uh, Instagram Q&As. Like, I think uh, the ankle's been posting about it a lot, uh, but I, I haven't checked those out because I don't want any spoilers. Um, and like I said, I don't have Instagram, so I don't really see them as they come through live. So eventually, once I catch up, I'll catch up with like reactors and all been watching for Amberlynn. But I've been doing so little to do with Amberlynn that I even fell behind on my um, the Time Tito like reaction videos because like, yep, Jesus, <laughs> I don't know. I just got to a point where she's like, I'm really, I'm really kind of tired of Amber. She's not great, and um, I have a foodie video recorded but uh it got hit with the demonetization thing so i have to wait for that to get cleared up first i tried re-editing it still got the next one got demonetized as well so i'm just have to wait to see what the appeal goes like and i'll kind of go from there and i have um most of the, like the glitter and laser like um recorded i haven't finished the episode yet because i was getting up to time for this so i was like i'll i'll, I'll hold off and I'll, I'll stop it here and we'll we'll go and we'll guess get, get this on and then maybe after the stream i'll quickly record the end of it and then i'll get it edited hopefully it'll be out tomorrow night for you guys depending on how, you know, <laughs> depending on how the foodie beauty thing goes out, because if so, the, if the foodie beauty thing is cleared up, that'll go out tomorrow night instead, and then the Glidden Leaders thing will probably be on Tuesday. Uh, Radical Geek, uh, Greek as well, sorry, PJ, Dr. A, Barbary, um, Tassa, uh, hello to you guys as well, uh, and Smokey Pondu, lo love to you over in, what, Northeast Scotland, I'm assuming, from Northern Ireland, so we've got, we've got a North here. Uh, Dr. A, aloha from Hawaii, well, Hello. <laughs> Do we have anything? Do we have anything particular here? What about you? What about you? We'll go with what about you? Hey, Moya, how are you? Uh, Bobby Otaku, what is worse, Amber video or Game of Thrones finale? See, I, I by that point, I really wasn't invested in Game of Thrones, like, at all. Like, I dropped out of Game of Thrones, like, I don't know, probably Red Wedding time? I stopped get, being as interested in it. So when, I, I know everyone hated the Game of Thrones finale, and it was bad, like, but by that point, I was just like, ugh, whatever. It's whatever, I don't care anymore. Uh, okay, so I guess we're gonna get into it and see who the emergency vet visit was for. Let's go. Look, all some crisps. Ships, although I asked for an apple. <laughs> <laughs> you remember? Do you remember that meme? I, I'm in. I'm in on the joke. Do you, do you like me yet? Nope. 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 Nothing. Okay, oh, guys. there you go. Jesus, you're really lied. Oh, welcome to vlog though. Hi. Okay. okay. This really pop is hungry. No Hungry? I made I made a reference to that in one of the videos I recorded recently for the Time Tito thing, that I hate the hungry thing. I hate that her entire personality as well. I don't have a personality, so... Uh, oh, just say something weird. I'm ho ho hungry, guys. Oh, it's just a situation type deal moment. Normally, I have eggs and corned beef when I first wake up. Like, literally, like I said, it starts with the eggs as well immediately. It's like, hungry and then eggs. But I want something on the lighter side because I am going out with my mom today. And oh I think God, we're going to go grab something to eat. And That's when I do crazy. that, I still want to say... Low yeah. calories, and calories like, I'm not trying to... I don't even remember what weight she's pretending to be. I think she's trying to pretend that she went under 500 pounds. I think I think I was in one of the last videos to see. I can't remember the last time. How is Goober? How are you, Goober? 
Sleeping. <laughs> I will update with Sleepy. She is sleepy because she is asleep here. Um, I think she's dropped under 500 pounds. I think that's what her claim is about now. Uh, she she looks it like like her gullet has dropped. She's kind of like a toad in mating season. Like her gullet has dropped. Whatever way she's holding her shoulders, like she just suddenly lost like all definition and like presence of a neck. Any mistakes around here? I'm just feeling really good. Yep. So oh. we're going to keep it up, keep up the momentum, keep Fantastic. up the motivation. Fantastic. Just the determination. Oh, and by the way, a lot of people are like, oh my God, that cardigan does not fit her. I purposely yep. like it hanging over like that. I think it's cute. It's not. <laughs> there you go. It's not. Because I think when you're like super, super morally obese and you wear clothes that don't fit you, it makes it look like you're even more super, super morally obese because like the clothes then just don't look like they fit you like whatsoever. That's just me. Because it very much does fit. Her hair I'm looks kind of clean for once. She's going to refer to it as frizzy here in a second, I bet. I don't think that looks as good. Are you frizzy? But then we, we have no? a... Oh, why am I explaining myself? But, I don't think anything you ever do looks good. Like, look, like I said, just pause here. I don't think any of this, like, at all looks good. Like, the lipstick is tiny. And because, like, her lips are tiny, like, the lipstick makes her lips look tinier. Because it kind of draws attention to them. And you notice it's just, like in the middle of her face here. For some reason, because she has, like, no neck and her fat just keeps going down, like, your, your center of, like, your focus isn't her eyes. It's always here. That's probably also because she, like, films herself, like, from below a lot of the time. So I never find myself looking at her eyes because they're not, like, in the middle of the screen. I always find myself staring at her mouth like it is her eyes. <laughs> when I see her now, I hear your damn, so she's a big old girl. Damn, so she's a big old girl. I'm not really a yogurt girly pop. I do like frozen oh, yogurt. God. She's like freaking ice cream. Let's be real. But not even close. Oko triple zero has 15 grams of protein. I guarantee, like, you know, because she, she's making it sound like this is the first time she's ever had yogurt in her entire life. I guarantee she's had yogurt more than once. And it's only 90 calories. It's in the flavor. Banana. Yamoya, is, is, this, is this like motivating you to like run a little bit? Are you put, you're putting it up by like one mile an hour just to make yourself push a wee bit harder because you're looking at Amber being like, oh, not that I see it. A cream. So I'm excited to try it. Wow. Oh my God. I'm glad we got to see every second of that. Okay. Oh. It smells like yogurt. Oh, wow. <laughs> of course it does. It looks like right, chunky I'm yogurt. That's how it looks. I've never had, ugh, it looks really chunky. Like, I've never really had, like, uh, like a protein yogurt, but it looks pretty thick. Good. You know what I'm saying? Why does she count it? protein? Uh, Icarus is because she's on a health journey and she heard someone once say that protein's important. So she thinks she's like, sounds really smart if she mentions protein and I'm getting my 15 proteins because she doesn't know what a gram is. So she just always calls it like 15 protein or one sugar or whatever it is. It's European. Well, I assume it's European if it's Greek yogurt. <laughs> uh, it's in like, like Swedish or something like that. It's like Swedish or like one of the Scandinavian countries, I think it is like for that. Like about yogurt is like that weird sour Forward. taste. Like it's just not for me. And I just realized I need to go put on my rings before I leave. Oh my God, right. crazy. Well, I love that she held it towards us. Like, hey, this is what yogurt looks like. It's like, Yep, I know. <laughs> Thanks, Amber. I'm, a, I'm aware of what yogurt looks like. It looks like kind of thick cream. So let's try it. Why does she bite it off? What? Why does she bite? I mean, is it because she doesn't want to mess up her makeup or something like that? Wouldn't you like to put your lipstick on after you have your yogurt? Wouldn't that be like more like, you know, like intelligent to do as opposed to biting the spoon to eat your yogurt? What was fucking that noise? Wow. <laughs> oh, that's a no. Well, that's a no. Instantly eats it again. <laughs> nope. Don't like this at all. Oh. <laughs> if it's a no, why are you eating it? When you're like a 550 pound woman, like here's like desperately counting calories so you don't die in the next five years. If you don't enjoy something, why even bother eating it? Because you know you're just going to binge later because you're like, why well, didn't you even enjoy that? So these are just pointless calories to have, even if they are 15 proteins. Rare at all. She loves dairy yep. products. Like yep. Yogurts, ice cream. Or she's just like, God, dear God, please brush me and feed me, please, please. You can't have this, my beautiful Hello. Baby. You know what would be good in this? I, don't, I just realized I said hello, like I was saying hello to Rarity, but I was actually saying it to Miss Suspicky. I was saying, I was actually saying it to Miss Suspicky. Um, but like, I don't know why, but it probably sounded like I was just saying hello to Rarity because Rarity was just going off in the background. Like just a couple mini chocolate, uh, like chips or, you know what I'm talking about? Like a little tiny thingy. You know, just a couple of you know chocolate chips. You know what I'm eating a, he a healthy yogurt. Usually what I think is, God, if only I could put some chocolate chips. Only if you only, oh, what, one or one or two chocolate chips. A chocolate chip cookie. Do you think Wasabi's still alive? I'm not convinced of anything until I see Wasabi. I'm like a newspaper next to them. Mm -hmm. I heard your teeth hitting that spoon. Bro, it's yogurt. There's no biting required. Wow. Does she think, I'm, I'm going to have to say, because she does this crash zoom constantly. It's like the only editing style she has now. 
I'm assuming she thinks, oh, it's really funny. Look at my re reaction. My reaction's like so over the top. And it's like, bro, you're like 550 pounds and I'm seeing you eat a yogurt and you don't enjoy the yogurt. And that is it. There's nothing comedic or crazy or weird or anything about this. I look at you and I think, I, you probably don't like it. It's probably relatively healthy. Yeah. <laughs> is she like channeling it. Chantel, the almost cat killer? We like to call her Cat Hitler here. I don't know if you could type that in chat without YouTube Sama, like, uh, just destroying your message, but I'm assuming, but she is Cat Hitler. If you like yogurt and you like banana cream, you'll like this, but wow. if you don't, then you're not gonna like it. What did she do? Oh my god, no fucking handbags. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so if you like yogurt, you'll like this yogurt. It's a bit of a no shit statement, I feel like, but yeah, 100%, I guess, if you like it. It's weird for me that she says she always feels yogurt sour, because like, I don't know, for the vast majority of yogurt, I don't find yogurt to be sour. So oh, Lisa Bear said it. You can say cat Hitler. Kittler? Oh, Kittler is diary for a coming fat. He said, obviously, Kittler. Look how cute. Yep. I love that. He, uh, he never ends. Oh, my God. Oh, thank God. I, oh, well, that is certainly a fucking look, I guess. You know what? I don't know if you wear, like, a giant hat, if it makes you look smaller. Especially because that hat probably should be, like, massive on most people. But it kind of looks like... It's still not wider than, like, her fucking gunt, you know? It's still not wider than down here, so it doesn't actually help you make it look any smaller. Also, why do you need to take your sunglasses off for that? <laughs> the sunglasses weren't in the way at all! Wow. Ugh. Ugh. Wow. I tried on a hat. Do I have personality yet? No. No. Oh, well, there you go. That was worth it. Well, Hats are not for me. Yep, noticed. At all. Most things are not for you. Sunglasses are not for you. General clothing, that fucking nose stud, those diamonds, your hair, your lipstick, your wee flakes. I'm, I'm going to say, most things are not for you. Oh, there we go. Oh, fantastic. Oh, we're, we have to endure all this. Ugh. This necklace will even fit around my fat neck. Lol. Remember the way she like was like because when people like made fun of her about like her necklaces are always so tight because she's like super fat and she like got really upset about that. I was like, well, actually, there's like loads of room left on it. I'm like now that she's trying to like get in on the joke that other people have already said. What the fuck? Hi, hi for patati man. Squid, how dare you say my name with respect? <laughs> I don't care if that was autocorrect or what. I do like it to be shorter though. So. Yep, so much so. Oh, Jesus. It will. Wow. Fascinating. Different day. Just a different day. I love she started wearing it like that because people like very quickly realize that she's just like putting stuff in out of order. Like she's pulling it from the vaults from like fucking like months ago and she's just putting it in out of order. So now technically she's not lying because she likes to do that where it's like, well, I technically didn't lie. I just like didn't confirm it. And she's just doing that exactly again where it's like, it was a different day. I'm not saying it was the next day. It was just a different day. It could have been six months ago for all you know. But I'm glad we're back with the journals again. Are we picking a new one or are these ones she's already done? Okay, guys. So these are all the journals. Journals. Have, and I'm about to complete one. So it is time to choose another. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, Christ. I hate this fucking ASMR. Not this bit, please. Tickle the pickle. We're going to watch this at 0 0.5 times speed just because you said that. ASMR. God. So I have done this before. I don't know. L ladies in chat. Do any of you think your fingernails are your personality? Anyone. Like, anyone whatsoever. Especially, like, Mad Max fucking Chrome Witness Me uh, <laughs> uh, clause. Well, guys, but this is how I usually choose my journal when I'm just doing it by myself. Oh, so my God. Are we, it too, it's oh, fun. are we seriously it's doing like... this? Oh, my God. Guys, if anyone doesn't know, you don't have, a, like, a growing audience. You have the same audience you've had for the past 10 years because you don't grow. She so hasn't increased in subs or anything like that. Her view count has gone down, meaning our audience has actually shrank, so it is more likely that people have watched all everything. This is the fourth time I have seen her do. I'm so interesting, guys. I put them down side by side, and then I picked my favorite one. And that, it's like, well, that's it. Process of she does grow. Here. That is a good so point, Icarus. The one that I don't want to use next. Yep, I know. I'm full, I'm, so yep, we're fully aware. Do you know what? I think we could just mute this. I don't think this is that important at all. Oh, no, not the squishy one. Oh, the doggy one. Oh, not the doggy one. The doggy one's gone. I like the doggy one. Smile always. Just fucking, I don't know, Amber. Just look at that and take advice and stop being so fucking miserable in such a fucking moment all the time. Oh, no. She's not going to smile always. Together, love. Oh, my God. So aesthetic. Oh, my God. The future is female. Prepare to be amazed. The female lead. The the male lead, the male lead. Tiger of thank you very much for the super chat. Hey, Mr. Potato, just popped in to tell you that you're great. Well, you know what? You're great, too, and you got a wee heart there. Thank you so much for the super chat. I do appreciate it. Like, I'm glad you popped in perfect time to see this 
Beautiful aesthetic, as we sit here for how long is this going to last for? Wow, this is already 40 seconds of this. Guys, this is a woman, like I said, I've said, covered in my, my recent, like, um, time data ones, where she made a point that she... Yeah, and my husband. My husband. My husband! Yeah. Where she specifically said, I don't film filler content. Like I said, this is the fourth time, personally, I've seen her do this. But tell me that isn't the cutest little setup. I don't care. I bought this one. <laughs> I don't care. Like years ago. And, oh, uh, crazy. Like my newer ones. Crazy. That's so weird, because I've literally... Never seen that one before, so you didn't buy it years ago because I would have remembered it from the previous times you did it. So you liar, you lie. Oh wow, this is so interesting. Oh my, like I said, I can't believe we're actually doing this. How long does this go on for? Oh my god, like we're just get, skipping. Be brilliant. Oh nope, okay, still going. Oh still going. Oh my god, I thought we'd skip through this. All right, it looks like this. One. That was a minute and a half, guys. A minute and a half. This woman. This is ten percent of her video. Was her picking her next journal? Just so you know, that just fantastic. The black one is for the soul, and the white one is for the doodles. Sure, why not? Do you know what? Why doesn't she do that? She said, "Oh my god, I got to a point in the time to do the thing where she showed us her coloring, and I didn't realize the coloring was genuinely like four-year-old coloring. I, I like, I thought thought it was like actual like paint by numbers, or like she was like drawing a picture and coloring it or something like that. I didn't realize it was literally like a ten-year-old's fucking coloring book." One. I've had this one forever. That was like 30 notebooks, probably. Yeah. Oh my god, it looks like on the inside of that lined paper. That's insane. I would not have expected to have lined paper. Thank you. It's, it's like when she showed us the yogurt earlier on on the spoon. Like, here's, my, here's what my yogurt looks like. I blown away. I was not expecting that twist. I'm start this new journal. Okay, For her guys, twama. So I'm worried about Twinkie, so Are you? I'm actually about to take her to the Usually when I'm worried about my animal, I immediately like start up my camera and record myself going, I'm worried about my animal. Just so you know, if anything ever happens to like goobs or chunker or squeaks or anything like that during a live stream, the live stream will just end. There will not be a guys, I'm I think there might be something guys, do you what do you think I should do? There wouldn't be any of that. The live stream would just end. And then maybe two days later you get a community tab post saying Oh, sorry about having to disappear like that. Uh, something happened. I wouldn't be like, hey, guys, may, should I film a short? I'm going to film Goober as a short to see what's wrong with I wouldn't do that. That's fucking ridiculous. Emergency vet. So last night I noticed... Where are you going? Food. She barely wanted a treat. I'm going to take her to the emergency vet. See the way you said it's an emergency vet. There's an important word there. It's an emergency. We don't need this. We don't need you sitting us... Telling us in of I'm I'm worried about her. I'm going to take her to the vets. But first, guys, let me explain my thought process here. She's acting lethargic. Like even with all that, I can tell when something's wrong with her. Usually it's because she has really It sounds like she's acting like bro, maybe just I don't stop. I can't believe we're doing this. And there's jump cuts at all, which means she talks for even longer and is like cutting them out. Bad joints because she is a very small dog. And she uh -huh. is older, so she takes medicine for it. So usually yes. when it happens, it's just small dogs not, dogs naturally have bad joints. Like I I'm usually here. Bad joints about like bigger dogs or certain breeds of dogs, like um, certain breeds of dogs, like like kind of like this slope, like um, like German Shepherds, like Alsatians. Alsatians generally have like bad hips, especially like show standard ones, because a lot of them are bred from a very small pool and they like, generally like the slope, and because of that, it makes their hind legs incredibly weak. Just like instead of waiting for mommy to pick them up, do you know what? Yeah, I get tickle the pickle. I get, I guess you're right because. Why wouldn't you get like an Uber or something like that to emergency take your dog to the vet? Do you think she's just making this up because she just wanted to annoy her mom and get her mom to come? Her doing everything by herself. Well, Twinkie has bad joints because she's obese. Yeah, but she's not as obese as she used to be. She used to be like pretty fucking heavy. I'll like literally carry her and I just baby her more than usual. But oh, I noticed, definitely, oh, it's sure. actually not her joints this time. She's not limping. She's not like having her typical symptoms. How do you know? Like, I'm sorry, you don't even know what's wrong with your own body and you live in it. I Just maybe don't make assumptions about what's wrong with your fucking dog. So what I do is I gently touch all over her body. I look around her body. Why? I actually told me to do this years ago. Uh, okay, I'm not sure. Maybe a, maybe, a, maybe a vet did. Maybe a vet did. However, the thing is, like, generally, I don't know if it'd be recommended because if you, like, are poking your dog and you poke a bad spot, your dog might fucking bite you. So maybe it's not a great idea to do that. If you think there's something actually wrong with your dog, maybe just, like, you know, get the dog and just take them to the vets, like, straight away if you're actually that worried about it, instead of recording yourself being like, oh, I think I sort of poked it a while to see what's wrong. That if you notice something's wrong with your dog, sometimes there is, like, a painful something on them. So no if you shit. gently, I mean gently, uh -huh. just, like, feel around them. Can you do them. anything gently? I was doing, doing, me and Twinkie were just, like, cuddling, and it was, like, nothing on her body. Like, she was fine. Oh, my God. I could tell something was wrong. So then I looked more, like... Okay, so I'm, assu I'm, so I'm assuming she is just making this up then. I don't know, for sympathy? Because this is right after Dr. Git, actually. This is right after the weight loss surgery thing, where, like, she got blown out of the water. Like, everyone dunked on her. No one was on her side whatsoever. 
And then suddenly the next video is, oh, Twonk sore. Twonk has to go to the emergency room. I Is this is this calculated? Is this like plans? Up on her face. So like under her mouth, there's like a lot of swelling. Uh-huh. And I'm like, that's not normal. How like, would you not notice that out of, ev out of everything? Everything. Like, oh, I was feeling around her body to check what was wrong with her. But you didn't notice that her, her throat apparently was like really swollen. You didn't. That's the bit you didn't notice. It's like in a way that you can only see it if you're like looking at it from like. <laughs> you don't understand. She's a great person. She looks after her content. Uh, I mean, dog. <laughs> exactly. I would never. Because this isn't even the first time I have seen. This is like a third time in me covering her for just over a year that I have seen her personally do this with Twonk. Where she does like a, oh, T Twonk was suddenly so in pain and shaking and howling in pain. And then recorded herself doing it. Like, this is the third time. This is how little she gives a fuck about her dog. Is that instead of, like, taking the dog to the vet, she'd rather film to say, I'm such a good pet mom. I'm taking my dog to the vet. Under, when I noticed that, you know, my first response is to, okay, baby girl, let me gently... Oh, my God! Open your mouth. Like, she didn't want me anywhere near it. So this could be... Then maybe just leave her alone and take her to the vet. It, like, okay, like I said, it feels like it's made up because it's just talking about how good she is and how she's basically a fucking vet. Like, Airbus said, yeah, Free Beauty is the vet. Well, Amberlin clearly is the vet as well. It's like her trying to, like, tell us how good she is. And it's like, bro, if you think she just needs to go to the vet, take her to the vet. Anything a tooth problem, but it could be a jaw problem. My brain... Okay, so, like, the throat's swollen, but it could be a tooth problem. Like, what? I guess if she's talking about, like, the underside of the actual muzzle itself, it could be, like, a tooth infection, I guess. Like, But, like, what are you going to do by knowing that, by checking the teeth? Like, especially if you think it's going to cause a pain, just take it to the vet. Brain goes to, like, is it a tumor? That's just where my brain is going. What? So, I'm going to take her to the emergency vet. I'm very nervous. Just do it. Um... Please so don't film her. And my mom's actually going to take me, so I appreciate no her shit, so much. No shit, obviously. So I'm assuming that it, that is just it. I'm assu assuming, like, she is just trying to, like, mess with, like, her mom. Because she just wants her mom to, like, take her to the emergency vets, like, super late at night or whatever the fuck it is. I'm, you know what I'm going to say? I'm not seeing a lot of swelling there. Like, when she said described, she felt a lot of swelling. Like, that, that's a pretty flat muzzle, isn't it? Like, I'm not really seeing a lot of swelling here. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Uh -huh. Okay, guys. So as soon as they saw Twinkie, yeah, they said, "I think it's an abscess." Okay. So the vet gave me the option to sedate her. I didn't really see an abscess. Like, I'm sorry, I didn't see like obviously not a vet. Like I'm saying, but she described it as being like a large, large swelling under her, her under her, her like muzzle. Like that's what I'm saying. I'm assuming she's not talking about throat now. She's talking about muzzle based on her thinking it's a a tooth issue but I, I really didn't see that like whatsoever and now it's like well I, i'm assuming she got her sedated so she's like wrapped up like this is a still shot you know this is still, if it was like a, a, a video i'd believe it more that she is like totally knocked out and she's like this is a, a still shot picture so tw twonk might have just blinked at this fucking point and so they can do like a more thorough look just to make sure uh -huh. it's not something worse or whatever so they gave me that option and i said uh yeah please uh -huh. i <laughs> I don't buy it like whatsoever. I just don't like. I said if 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 this is a video of her like filming, like, like I said, like I don't, I don't really like her filming because I did just, like her filming the dog for for content just in general. But like the fact this is a snapshot means that like Twonk literally could have just closed like her eyes for fucking one second there, and she quickly they just like snapped the picture off it, and that's it. Oh, see, she's sedated right now. She's totally knocked out, guys. So. Here's Twinkie after being sedated. Yep. This was in the back I of my mom's car. Believe you entirely. She was out of it. You With my Amazon box that we probably stopped off to pick up on the way. Guys, that poor little baby. But the outcome is she has oh, an abscess and she might have to get her tooth surgically removed. Uh huh. And that just breaks my heart for her. Like she was. And that just breaks my heart for her. You, you signed it. You signed like really cut up about this. You sound really worried about your dog as you're like, I don't know talking about maybe i should go to the vets and thinking about going to the vets where i'm just gonna film myself kind of standing around not doing it and then i don't know i'll take a quick snapshot off my dog and just claim this is definitely totes for real like her knocked out hard so out of it look at her now she's on antibiotics and i pay 500 dollars to listen to converse between lr and the vet god eh? i said i think maybe she took her to the vets but maybe it was just like a standard checkup or something like that i'm not really sure i buy this whatsoever i, I just think like drama happened because we see it all the time it's all foodie beauty Booty Beauty did the whole scam thing with her uh, Beezer, really terrible person. What was the next video? ER. Like, we've seen it so many times. Amber, 
massive drama, people making fun of her, everyone dunking on her, literally no one on her side uh, in regards to the, the doxing of the sergeant. Next video, Twinkie needs to go to the emergency vet. Suck at me, I'm such a good pet mom. I'm so worried about Twinkie, guys. Oh my God, thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayer hands and chat, guys. You know, that kind of shit. And a painkiller, and she's just my little baby, and I just feel absolutely horrible for her, but... Foodie is about to run back to a destabilized Middle East, whereas Amber is doing the same shit. She needs up her game. <laughs> you know what, Dal? That's, that's certainly one way to look at it. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm, I have to admit, I'm just waiting for Foodie to, like, wade in with all of the subtlety and grace that we know of her into this recent situation. And, God, I don't know. I don't know if I really want to cover it because I don't try and do any, like, political stuff on my channel whatsoever. And I see that, and I'm like... Oh, God. <laughs> but yes, you're exactly right. Whilst, like, Foodie is, like, doing all this, like, mental shit, you know, over and over and over again, running back to Canada, or I'm going back to Kuwait, scamming her beezers, pretending she's getting Sam back, you know, like, the cheating scandals, the health scandals, everything like that. It's like, okay, Amber, and what are you doing? It's like, I cut my hair. It's like, for fuck's sake, Amber, <laughs> Amber come on. You had one shot, one opportunity to not let it slip. I can't remember the rest of that. Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> but that's just like, seriously. I don't know. Like, I, I know I didn't say it earlier on because I usually do this at the start. And I probably should have done it. Because emergency vet visit. Cook with me and let's go to Target. And it's like, imagine those three things going together. Imagine caring so little about your dog's health. It's like, it sits there along with like, let's go to Target. Yay. It is two days. Cherry Blossom Maga, Amber's boring. Exactly. Yeah, that's that's why I, I looked and I saw I have six episodes to catch up with. And I was like, oh, really? Okay. <laughs> that's why it's like, I'm just, I'll do it as a live stream and I'll be a bit more fun because we'll chat back and forth. It'll be a little bit more fun. And you guys probably don't care about me posting a video from six vi you know, videos again, two weeks ago or whatever. So we might as well just do it as a live stream and maybe then I'll start to keep up to date with her or I don't know, drop her entirely if I get really bored. Is into the future, so hello. She is doing oh my so God. much better. We're still doing the swelling this. is down, and she's acting like herself again. She's wow. not acting like she's in pain. She's happy again. Uh, do you know what? She wasn't acting like she was in pain when I saw her for those few seconds sitting in the, the vet's office. I'm just going to say, I also didn't see a massive swelling of a massive abscess or anything. Like, I didn't see any of that. And currently, we're still just hovering over this still shot picture. It's just so unbelievable. Like I said, it's just cringe. And so... Tomorrow, which is Monday, I will be calling Fantastic. to make an appointment. Tomorrow, which is Monday, which is a different day. To get her teeth either surgically cleaned wow. or she might have to have it removed, which wow. is very, very sad. Look at all that no swelling going on there, which is very sad. Is it? Is it? She, she might have to get her tooth cleaned or surgery to have it removed. That is quite, that's very different ends of the spectrum there, wouldn't you say? You know, it really is like, oh, like to say, well, she might need to get her teeth cleaned, which implies that you aren't cleaning your teeth, the, your dog's teeth properly, which is probably what this entire video is. But that was probably just a routine checkup for, for Twonk. And she decided to make like, you know, content out of it and make footage out of it to try and like, you know, boohoo, feel sorry for me, guys. Everyone laughed at me because I said my, my, my public sergeant who's on like a TV show was docked. Oh, boohoo, guys. Um, and she probably got told in it. It's like, Twonk's teeth are very dirty. You need to do better at cleaning her teeth. And she's like, ah, I'll, I'll make a storyline where she needs surgery to remove her teeth because of abscesses. She probably just w w did that. And boom, that, that was it. That's the storyline for it. Because that's a very different, like, clean her teeth or surgically have her teeth removed, which would be really sad. Why would it be really sad? Why would it be really sad if she needs to have a tooth removed because it's causing pain? Like, that's just, it's, it's understandable. You said it's an old dog. Like, if she needs to have a tooth, I wouldn't be like, if, if Goober was suddenly, like, like had an issue with a tooth, like a tooth cracked or broke or something like that, and like that was just like, yeah, Goob, she, she, she needs her tooth removed. I'm like, that's so sad. She needs to have a tooth removed. It's like, well, no, it's it's good, actually. It's a good thing that's happening. Hello, Miss Suspicious again. <laughs> um, hello, Abby Cabot as well. Hi. Right. Like, I, I wouldn't think it's a sad thing. It's not like, I don't know. It's, it's not like oh, your dog needs to be put down. That would be like, a, a, an obviously very sad thing. But it's like, oh, it needs to have its, its tooth cleaned or removed. It's like, oh. That's so sad. Was there actual footage inside the vets? There's footage that looked like it was like a vet's room. There, there, there was. It's sad night, but it could have been any room. You know, we don't know for sure. But like I said, that could have been just like a routine checkup. And she thought, well, I'll film this and I'll keep this in the store for later on. That could have been filmed six months ago for all we know. They should have just removed the tooth. If it was an emergency vet visit, I'm surprised they didn't. If it was causing like a huge amount of pain for the dog, I'm amazed they didn't. Just because it's emergency vet visit, they probably would just do it straight there. Especially if they already had 
sedated the dog. If the dog was already under, why wouldn't they just remove the tooth at the same time? Seems a wee bit bizarre, but I don't I don't know. I've only been to the emergency vets like once, you know, and I was kind of like a, an end of life thing, unfortunately. So I don't I don't know if it's something like they go like, well, this can be done next week. So just book an appointment with your regular vet. I don't know if they just say just wait and just do it then. So it is the next day after okay. I just filmed that voiceover. Twinkie's doing So it's the next day after I voiced that voiceover as she like glances desperately around the room. That what does that even mean? So do you mean Monday? Because that's what you said earlier. It means so much better. <laughs> yeah. My baby girl. Oh, I I is she still sedated? Because she's acting just like she was when she was sedated. Yeah, she's just resting right now because we just came back inside from going for a walk. Uh -huh. um, I had someone contact So your dog that was in so much pain yesterday that you needed to take it to an emergency vet, you took it for a walk today? I, before you had the surgery or anything, I was just happy enough to go for a walk. I'm assuming if the dog was in that much pain, it probably wouldn't be up for a walk. I mean, today on Instagram saying like, are you okay? I heard there's tornadoes in Oklahoma right now. And I'm oh just God. like, um, I didn't know that there was and now I'm scared. It was. I, what? How would you not know that there were tornadoes? I knew that there were tornadoes in America around this time. I, I if I knew about it, you certainly know about it, especially when she claims that the, the sirens go off and so how would she not know? Sprinkling a little bit when we went out there, but. Jeez. The weather's fine, but Oklahoma is known for the tornadoes, so yep. I'm a little scared. I also want to give an update on my little like weight loss challenge. As you guys know, I wanted to reach 450, which would be another 50 pounds lost, and I just kind of want. I thought she wanted to lose to reach 469, because I meant made a joke, because I made a joke that I thought she was going for the sex number, but that was actually the Ozempic thing. So I thought I thought her goal was 469, so we've just changed it again. It's four, it's 459. Count. Count. See how long it took me. So today. The duck song? I do not remember the duck song as a vi viral video, but I don't I, I don't really spend a lot of time on YouTube like watching those kind of things. It is day seven and I weighed in at four ninety. People are asking if she's okay. Yeah, people are asking because people care so much about Amber and weirdly they only ever ask her those things in private DMs. Never on YouTube or anywhere. Just always private DMs. 3.6. So I'm going. I'm trucking along. Wow, I sure. have not gone over my calories in a week, which is so crazy sure. for me because like... I am not really that girly pop lately. Like, oh I haven't God. successfully counted. This is like the 14th diet she's done since I started watching her. And like, her, like, she, every single time she makes it a week, she goes, like, I never make it a week. And every single diet, she always makes it at least a week before changing it or dumping it or whatever. Every single time. <laughs> so it's like, I'm not the girly pop who usually makes it a week. Really? You fucking seem to be. You, a week seems to be your limit, obviously, before you get bored with it calories like in a hot minute to be honest her weight is a personality her hair is a personality her hoop earrings are a personality an air bud is a personality her, her diamonds she has everything as her personality outside of like you know a personality I really want to be aware of what i'm putting in my mouth because if i didn't wow. do that it's like a few hundred calories here a couple hundred calories there like it all adds up in the end yeah but the thing is you could actually eat like an extra couple hundred calories here and a couple hundred calories there and you'd still like lose weight that's how sad your life is and I don't show progress when yep. I allow myself to have those extra calories here and there and there and there. So it's just really good to say under my goal. I'm actually- Donatella, the reason she says girly pop clearly is because girly pop is also her personality. Her personality is, haha, I say girly pop right now. And then she'll change it to be something else in like a couple months once people get bored of it. Because that that's, that's literally it. That's, it's really sad. Like I said, everything is her personality apart from- Having a personality. <laughs> like, that's so sad. I'm about to go make lunch right now. So let's go do that. Wow. Okay, so I'm oh, about to yeah. some salmon. In an air fryer? No, you've never done this before, you silly goats. I can't believe it. This is the first time I've ever seen someone do like this before in this fucking channel. In the air fryer, I just yep. seasoned it with some garlic salt. No. And a little bit of pepper. No. I'm also having Caesar salad. No. So salad. Could you just not make this yourself? <laughs> Could you just not make this yourself? 180 calories per serving. I wonder what your idea of a serving is, though. Hit, which this is delicious. Yep. There is three servings in it. Oh my god. So for the salmon and for the salad, it is kind of high calorie. It's 700 calories, but it's going to uh -huh. keep you full for a while. That's not even close to high calories. <laughs> Why is she? I know she's pretending that having 700 calories at once for her is considered high calories. When she, her, what's her limit? What's her limit right now? Isn't her limit like 1,800 calories? It's like no, no that's like, if that's like your lunch or like your dinner, that's that's absolutely fine. <laughs> that really is absolutely fine. Okay, so while the salmon is cooking, which is almost look how big as bowl is. Gonna make this like I realize the bowl is closer, but look how big as bowl is. So in total for this whole meal. Uh, you, it is 770. So first we I thought she just said it had three servings in it. I wasn't expecting her to pour the entire thing in. 
<laughs> this thing is three servings, guys. Oh, by the way, hoofs the entire thing into the bowl. I can't believe it. She's not, she can't eat all of this. This is ridiculous. We have obviously the lettuce. Obviously. And then we have the Jesus. Recipe. Oh my god, there's so much. Wow. Next week. I'm have... amazed she just didn't use her tongue to fucking mix that up there. Is that true? Is foodie your waifu? Don't 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 spread my secrets like that. Um who would be my waifu out of the two of them? <laughs> well probably Amber. I'd have to say it's probably gonna be Amber. Like cause like foodie's like generally just like a disgusting person. Like Amber's a bad person too, but I think foodie like really wears a crime for being just genuinely fucking awful. Like so out of the two of them, I guess. I guess she'd be my waifu, or maybe, I don't know, who else? Is there anyone else in the, in the continuity I can be my waifu? Uh, no, I'm gonna have to go with Amber. It has to be Amber, sorry guys. Some Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Amber Lynn is fat because of her ancestral trauma of the potato famine. Well, also maybe that's why she like coughed and died and shit herself when she eating potato. Maybe like suddenly, like she had PTSD flashbacks to the famine or something like that. I thought she was Portuguese. I didn't think she was part Irish. And then of Foodie's gross with scary undertones. I think it's not even undertones. I think it's like, Foodie's at the point where her scariness is like overtones. Like just being so fucking awful is like an overtone for her. They give like crouton crumbles, which I think I prefer. Michelle, I'd hire Ham Baby as my interior designer. She hasn't done anything. That's the weird thing with her house. She hasn't decorated this house like really at all. Like it, like, it looks like my house. I haven't really decorated my house that much at all. Like she's kind of like me. She has like a guy's house. Like, she doesn't intend to stay here for long, you know? Because surely if she's intending to stay here for very long with her mom, in my opinion, she'd have decorated her uh, this place, you know? Her, her dad is Irish? Well, that explains why he's addicted to drugs. <laughs> so, I would expect, like, she would have decorated this place and made it, like, her own if she really wanted to stay here for a long time. But in my opinion, she probably instead is, like, this is a stopgap. She has this rented probably while looking for a girlfriend and then she's more than likely just going to like totally abandon her mom be like whatever mom i don't need you anymore i've got my own uber driver now and then that's what and that's why she's leaving it as is so she can just immediately move out and there's no issue about like oh well this needs repainted this needs painted you've painted this too too differently or like fixing like, screw holes and stuff like that i think that's probably what it is uh van hill hello thank hello hello <laughs> start saying th thank you for coming <laughs> it's, like, it's like thank you for coming please find a seat anywhere it's like i'm a uh, i'm a restaurant owner or something like that why are the irish and canadians drug addicts by blood i don't fucking know it just happened to us it happened to us it's it's offshoot of being colonized by the british are we gonna can we go with that can we go with that we're, we're offshoots of the british so we're all addicted to drugs just to cope if i'm being honest especially once this is all mixed together oh wow this is the woman who doesn't film filler content for no reason guys and i do like to add some black pepper on top do you add garlic salt as well? Look no? How wow. delicious that looks. It looks like shit because all salad looks like shit. I, I, no one come at me. All salad always looks awful. Always. <laughs> you guys don't understand decoration like she does. That's the thing. We just don't. If only we were as incredible as she is. All right. So okay. Cute. So like, I, how big? Like, okay. Firstly, gigantic plate. Secondly, like, what kind of portions is this? Is that why she like, picks gigantic plates? Because I have no idea now what a size of portion is. Is that? Half of what was in that bowl, or is that all that was in that bowl? It is my lunch a salad and salmon? I do have a lot of salad wow. left. Oh, actually. so it's half. Right, okay. So here is my lunch. Look how big that fucking salad is. This is why you know she will never be thin. When even on a diet, it's like, oh, I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna have this giant ass salad. And yes, that thing might have said 180 calories per per serving. And do you know what? Maybe it is. Maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe it's 180 calories if you don't include the sauce or something like that. Who knows? I don't particularly care. But if you're on a diet and like she is apparently doing as well as she claims she's doing, how can you fit all of this in your stomach? Have half of this. Just learn to eat in moderation. That is the most important thing. I'm not even talking about just specifically current calories. Learn to eat in moderation. It's like when I'm on keto. I look at like eggs and like, sorry, eggs and like bacon. I look at like eggs and bacon and I could have like, like fuck, I could probably have like 10 pieces of bacon and five eggs if I particularly wanted to. I like, but I don't because it's like, well, I could have that, you know, and still like, you know, with the amount I'm working out, lose weight or whatever it is, but I don't want to because that's fucking loads. So I'll just have a few of each. I'm actually pretty hungry right now. The plate is colossal. Mm -hmm. What? Well, when like her chest, like her shoulders look tiny compared to the plate. This is like sh genuinely look shoulder to shoulder. Like, sorry, it's actually past the shoulder. <laughs> this thing is broader than her chest. 
Umbra needs a Mexico weight loss surgery arc. Um, I would like to see a travel vlog of her going to Mexico. That'd be pretty funny. What do you think? Is it 10 out of 10? No, probably 9 out of 10. I feel like she's been doing a lot of 9 out of 10s recently. She's saving the 10 for like some mystic thing out in the future. This it's gonna, brand? It's going to slap though. I promise you, the best salad ever. Wow. I don't even know what brand it was. Look how tough that fucking salmon is. First. Wow. I don't know why. It is cooked perfectly. She's so quirky. She always bites it's everything off. Oh, oh, no, you're right. Well, it's a different day, guys. Could be yesterday, could be 16 hours ago. Who knows? All right, you guys. So I'm going to be weighing in. <laughs> so proud of you, Potato, for getting under 600 bucks. It was a struggle. It was a struggle. I worked hard towards it. Hello. Hello. It's ready. It's ready. Stepping on. Figured I would record this one for you guys. Wow. Thank you. Four ninety two point two. Oh. 492.2. I will I'm almost definitely believe that. I always love that you can see her clearly like propping herself up against like a counter as she steps down when she leans forward like that. So it's so obvious. Yes. Okay, Tassa, you're right. You're so correct. In the 480s, I can see that happening in the next like three to four days. And I'm super excited wow. for that. So excited for that. I just realized that it's three, three, three o'clock. That is a good sign. If you guys is, is it being three, three, three o'clock? Is that a personality type? No? Fuck. You guys know, you know. So we're currently in my bathroom because I need to clean. <laughs> Bend over your seat. You're seriously listening to this while doing your reps. Where's the motivation? Where's the, uh, yeah, I want to want to get the pump on. I want to work hard. You fucking try to It's just like, I'm listening to this. It's just like, well, what are you listening to, bro? I'm listening to a fat woman eat some salad, bro. <laughs> Makes me want to lift even more, bro. Out. Oh, this. wow. What is happening, Amberlynn? Okay, see the way like a lot of that's new stuff. I like I, I said before. I feel like she deliberately makes messes so she has stuff to like change up. That is, I'm sorry. That that is. is I feel like she deliberately just gets stuff, chucks it in a pile so she can do a video going. Oh my god, guys! I need to clean this up because like why would you why would you have a drawer that looks like this? It doesn't even look like a man drawer, you know. It's hard to work out when I laugh. Well, it's just laughing at her trying to like pretend she gives a shit about her health and also probably at the, at the weight result. Uh, I saw someone else say, well, angel numbers, guys. So it's 333, three, the angel numbers. I remember because I had an ex who was like really obsessed with 1111. Like she was like really obsessed with that. So like that was her thing. Like, so I'm guessing 333 three, three is an important number as well. And it doesn't stop there. Oh wow. my God. So yeah, I just, I wow. really need to clean this out. Like this, this is looking crazy. Guys, my dog had to go to an emergency vet appointment. Also, my comfort's a wee bit dirty. It's like, thanks Amber. This all seems to fit absolutely fine together. My mom also, I'm just got a curiosity. Was this around about the time when Judy passed away? Um, Zachary Michael's dog, is this about the time? Is this why she suddenly was, is FFG, is she obsessed with 11-11? No, it wasn't her. Maybe it was, who knows? Um, but like, is this seriously it? Maybe I'm a lumberjack. We should go with that as a storyline. I'm actually a lumberjack. Just she doesn't have a lumberjack because she lost me. I used to be the lumberjack. Um, <laughs> I don't even remember what my point was anymore. But yeah, it just doesn't feel like these just like fit together. But if this is around about the same time that Judy died, is this like, mm, is, 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 is she suddenly my dog needs to go to the emergency vet? Vet, is this like trying to be a dick towards Zachary Michael? Is that what it is? I took a shower here like two months ago stay the night so there's still some of her things in here oh sure and i'm just like bro i have not cleaned. oh wait is this entire storyline to pretend that you had sex is that it who was it who stayed the night sorry so yeah i just i really need to clean this out like this is looking crazy it is my mom took a shower here like okay. two months ago stay the night so there's i'm assuming she probably didn't have sex with her mom so i retract what i previously said have that stricken from the records <laughs> all i just heard because i was kind of half paying attention was suddenly like um, oh my god, then, I, oh, she stayed the night. All I heard was that, but I just assumed she was trying to pretend she had fucked someone. There's still some of her things in here, wow. and I'm just like, bro. Well. Did she seriously say that whilst pointing at the sanitary pads? Did she seriously say that? Like, there's some of her things in here whilst pointing at the always? Was Did she seriously just fucking do that? I have not cleaned this in forever, so it is time that You've I only been in that house for like five months. I'm pretty sure it wasn't forever ago. So, actually recently got some- The new, ALR Chris Shark. Um, like gentle floss. Oh my God. So I'm excited to try this brand. Oh my Plus, God. I'm excited to try this brand. It looks like every single one of those things that has ever existed ever. I'm excited to try. She is like peak capitalism. <laughs> I'm excited to try this brand, guys. Why? Talk to me, the color of this bag. That has oh my god, I got it because it's pink. And if you didn't realize, I'm a girly pop. Uh, also, it's pink. So I got it. Their personality is. <laughs> Jesus 
Like, oh, Auntie Frizz, because she frizzes, guys. Hasn't she shown this off loads of times? Greatly helped my hair recently. Hasn't she shown this off? Peace, sleek and shine anti frizz serum. Wow. Definitely recommend. It doesn't look like it's helped your hair because your hair looks like fucking trash. If you guys have super dry skin. Oh my, I don't care. I don't care. Cycle? Drink some more water, woman. Uh, moisturizing cream, very to dry to dry. Girly skin. pop coated, exactly. I recommend this. I don't. So I usually use dry shampoo, but I actually stopped using it. So I usually use dry shampoo because I don't shower. Uh, I mean, two weeks ago. Why would you say that? Day. So I have a bunch of these little uh, sampler yep. like, perfumes. I know you shouldn't know before. Some, like Louis Vuitton up in oh, here. Oh, crazy. Subscriber actually sent. Really, fucking. I don't remember a subscriber sending them to you. I'm pretty sure I would have because you would have shown it off. To me. And I have them in this like Q-tip container. I just Whoa. thought it was a cute idea. So I it's just grab it like not, that. It looks like trash. It looks so stupid. Because they're not the right oh, size. I literally want to almost get rid of my straightener. So I'm not tempted. I've actually okay. had a straightener for easily a decade. Fantastic. So I got the top one all cleared out. And then I was working on... Wait. So she's had this straightener for a decade, but she literally claims that her hair is only getting bad recently. Even though it's been bad for literally ever. But she said it's getting bad recently because she started applying um, heat to it, which she's literally never done before because her hair was always fine before this. But only suddenly in the last six months it's gotten bad. What? What? So, like, why do you have straighteners? Why have you had straighteners for 10 years if you've literally never used them before? 11-11 is when you make a wish. Oh, okay. Uh, it's not yet, so I can. I'll, I'll let you know what my wish is at 11-11, guys. On the bottom. And realized oh my god my bath and body splurging everywhere Oops. sperm everywhere guys leaked a yeah. lot yeah all right you guys it's almost like you probably just did that just to have something interesting to talk about so the bottom first oh my god that's so crazy better, but it looks a lot better actually wow. and then this one is just like amazing now i just have a very is it <laughs> you've got real low self-standards bad habit of keeping everything yeah. clean oh it took 12 minutes open a drawer, it's like i love it took her 12 minutes to do that and she literally just like picked things up just put them on their hands that's all she did that's all she did when well, she picked it up and just set them on their hands that's it that's all Whoa, she did that's a mess why so do you have scissors easy. are those the scissors she used to cut her hair why does she just have like home scissors in her like bathroom cabinet use my sweetheart cherry body oh spray God. instead of putting it back where it belongs i would just go and then if well, that's probably also why you're 550 pounds, because you're lazy as fuck. You do that with everything, eventually it starts to look. She stole your scissors? Are those your scissors? All right, you guys, I just rinsed some fresh green beans. Oh my God, so I, fresh. I do love candy green beans, I'm not gonna lie, but I wanted to make some like huh? Asian inspired green beans so, I'm so you want to make some asian inspired green beans is that sorry i would turn that down because like the sizzling was annoying me so you want some asian inspired green beans but you usually use canned do canned ones not work the, like the canned beans can you not make them asian inspired like at all a poop scissors <laughs> for her pubes obviously i gotta forget about those as well um what the, i don't know like she okay i, I, I don't know could she find her pubes because she'd be kind of cutting blind down there because there's no way she could see what she's cutting down there that season these cook these down real good <laughs> i'm probably gonna have some rice and some salmon as well oh my okay, god so again it's so crazy sauce, minced garlic uh -huh. sriracha yep some pepper garlic salt and right now um it's just in some water yep because i am trying i want to make them asian inspired so i added sriracha okay <laughs> I don't feel as Asian inspired, but sure, bro. Calories. I do want to cook these down like a lot. Like I want them to be skinny, shriveled, flimsy. Like that's uh -huh. my goal. Yep. So just like in real there, life. If I need any oil, then I'll add some. But as of right now, like using water for this is totally fine. Uh -huh. All right, you guys. So it is finished. I did. Oh my God, look how Asian they are. Oh my God, it's so Asian. I can't believe she had a choice and for two meals in the day she had salmon for both meals that's really fucking dull um, sesame seeds to the top oh of my God. The green beans they came so out exactly sesame? how i wanted them to really because they look a bit goopy like this one here that, the, this one looks a bit like i don't know it's probably a bit too overripe when you when you put it in i'm not really fussing this they look a bit weird and then of course my typical salmon that i love making in the air fryer my dry ass salmon I i've never seen a salmon that looks like it has a crust on it <laughs> It's dry as fuck, bro. Um, Brando Neo, Brando Neo. I'm gonna say that's what you say. What your name is? Thank you very much for the chat. Love my ass off. Cured my hangover. Thanks. I would think actually, like laughing would make my hangover like considerably worse. But sure, yeah, okay, 100%. Well, glad to hear, dude. <laughs> uh, hopefully, well, actually, yeah, Saturday night last night, Sunday today. So it's absolutely fine. No, no hangover tomorrow. We're all we're all back at work tomorrow. That's why I can't go on long here. I cooked in my rice cooker. Sausage. Salmon look like a sausage. Yeah. Oh, thank you for watching. Is that us done? Wow, that was. 
That just kind of came out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting this to be the end of the video because we didn't even get a, oh mm, God, slaps, guys. We didn't even get a 10 out of 10. Wow, that was kind of just, that kind of just happened there. I'm kind of disappointed in that one as a whole. Um, I, I don't know why. Like, I really probably should, like, expect it to be bad at this point. Okay, on to the next one, I guess. Let us go. Okay, I'll, I'll obviously give that away. Wow, she's not even getting 1,000 likes on her videos now. That's kind of depressing. Wow, that's sad. Okay, well, the next one is going to be fun and exciting, guys, I guess, because this one is way in. I, I, again, we saw that in the last video, so I don't know why we're getting it again, but whatever. What I ate today, counting calories. You, do you know what? Suspiciously, that sounds like literally what I, have I no just watched. I don't have any self-respect. She doesn't have any self-respect. <laughs> okay, so like this is sign and cook with me. This is literally... Uh, guys, did I rewind the stream? Did all of you guys just like start watching the stream again from fresh? Because it sounds like we're about to do literally what we did yesterday, just not including the emergency vet visit and also going and putting two hats on. It sounds like that. Oh my God. Is she even get she's getting even lazier? Honestly, it's like, yeah, yeah, this is exactly the same shit over and over again. It's like it's why is that I struggled? I just like look at this and I'm like, oh, I don't care. I just don't care. You know, like our view card is pretty dire, you know, but she comes out and says, People are doxing my surgeon, like the biggest drama story she's had in I don't know, months at this point since the breakup. And she got seventy thousand views for it. That's it. That's it. That was the peak of her drama this time. And that was her trying to go to war with reaction channels. And she got like 70,000 views and you're like, oh, wow, fun. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So today is like a weigh in, what I ate today, chit chat, maybe a cook with me moment. Oh my God, almost like yesterday, like literally yesterday. That is depressing shit. We're on 1.25 but I just wanted to check. But right now I just want to do like- Her hair looks like shit again. Straight to the point. <laughs> Straight to the point. Uh, if you had to eat a meal cooked by Amber or Chantel, who would you choose? Um. Well, okay, what are we going to go with? Because Amber, if you have a meal cooked by Amber, you're actually going to be eating the meal cooked by Amber because she actually does show her cook it. If you're having the meal cooked by Chantel, more than likely you're getting takeout food <laughs> that she just put on a plate and claimed that she made herself. So what are we going to go with here? If it's Chantel's, obviously, like, takeout food she just ordered and then put on a normal plate, I'd go with that. If normal food... Oh, God, I don't know. This chicken pot pie looked a bit shite. Um... The fish she cooked that one time with the, the cheese sauce on it or whatever it was, that looked pretty shit. Amber's, Amber's, I see, I don't like wet stuff. Everyone knows I'm not a moist girly, you know, just like Amber. I'm a dry girly pop. Um, so I probably would go for uh, Amber. No, sorry, like Chantel. Because Amber, everything she makes is a fucking soup, basically, except salmon, weirdly. Salmon's the only dry thing she makes. Get away and in, and then I'm ready to eat. Beck said that chili was good, so you go with that. Ugh. I don't know. I think Beck just has fucking Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> so a disclaimer, I will be eating in this video. I know in some What I Ate Today videos, I do not eat. But in this one, I probably will be. And I do like to... Did she just say, I know in not in all of my um, What I Ate in a Day videos, do I eat? Like, I'm just, what? I'm just, I mean, you, you do. I've never seen a video where you don't eat. I've never seen a single video where she doesn't eat. Do disclaimers, because I know sometimes people don't like seeing people in general eat, let alone a fat girl. Why are you, why are you doing a disclaimer here? You ate in the last video on two separate occasions, including biting a spoon. Like, why the fuck are you letting people know about this one? Like, last time you didn't tell us. So I really quickly want to put my way in because I am so excited, so here it is. Wow. Hello, hello. Hello. hello way in. I'm pretty hello. pumped. Exciting. You? Hello. It's ready. It's ready. I've been doing pretty freaking good, you guys. Wow. So, stepping on. Glad you're the one telling yourself that and not literally anyone else. We're at the point where, like, I remember her weight being 540 pounds. Uh, not too long, but that's what she was claiming. She's probably heavier than that, but that's what she was claiming. 540 pounds, not long after the breakup with Feline. So we're saying in like the six months prior to that, she has lost like, what are we at? Like nearly 50 pounds because she's like 490. What's she now? Oh, let's see where I'm at. 489.2. Okay, so she's 489 pounds. So she's pretending she's under 490 pounds now. There has been zero change in her physical appearance. Like zero change. And I realize, you know, it's like, okay, well, she's super fat, you know, 10% of her body weight, pretty much. There's still a change. Like, the Jamal Get Right guy has lost, like, 69 points. And when you see a side-by-side -side picture of him, there is a very, very, like, very visibly difference in his in his face, in his chest, and in his stomach. Jamal Get Right, you can very blatantly see it. And she uses filters, so that does make it worse as well to see Jerry, yeah. Um, but with Jamal Get Right, you can see the change in him. You know he's doing well because you can physically see. When he says, I've lost... 60 pounds, you can see him standing side by side, and you go like, oh, he has. Look at him. He has on. Oh, he's impressive. Very impressive. I'm very proud of you.
But with her, she's exactly the same. Exactly the same. But in the Zempic era, she looked so different, not buying it. I, that's the, I, I haven't seen the Zempic era, so I haven't seen the actual change in her weight. But, like, I've seen, like, the, the Time Tito stuff, where it's, like, six, seven years ago, and I can see what she used to look like when she claimed to be lighter than this, but without filters, you know? And she looks, like, slimmer here than she did back then. And that, that was obviously a change of before and after filters, you know? Nowadays, she's trying to claim that she weighs more but looks less than she did previously, but also claims she doesn't use any filters. Even though, like, the one six, seven years ago in a video recently I mentioned, um, that you can see that she, like, she's doing a no makeup look, and you can see, like, the blemishes on her skin, you can see the bags on her eyes, you can see her wrinkles and all, and this is when she was, like, 27, 28. But now Amber's 33, and she's claiming that she is, has better, more flawless skin than she had when she was lighter and before her menopause. But nowadays, she's claiming her skin is better post-menopause and, like, after she's gained the extra 100 pounds. Shut up! Wait, oh my what? God. <laughs> Why are you acting surprised? You literally just said this was going to happen in the last video. Like, in the last video, she's like, yeah, I'm probably going to hit it in the next couple of days. And then she hits it. Oh, my God, really? It's like, yeah, that's you, you said you were going to. Wait, wait, I'm gonna cry. Okay. Wait, I, bl I I'm believe you. I literally cry. Wow. 489, you guys. Or is her voice totally changed? I'm gonna cry. 489, guys. Her voice totally changed the second she stopped pretending she's gonna cry. I also love that when your dog is apparently in like super pain, you didn't cry or feel sad or anything like that. But because you hit 489 points, oh, I might cry because I hit 489 points, apparently. I did. She's oh back up to 500 pounds now. She also cried. <laughs> Did she? I don't know. God, spoiler, guys. <laughs> I can't. This is so silly. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to see the Ozempic like time lapse or something like that. Maybe some, maybe like Salty Crab or something like that. Did like a time lapse or apathetic facts did a time lapse of the Ozempic thing so I can actually see the change in her weight over time. Because right now, nothing. There has been no change in her like whatsoever but she's claiming to have lost 50 pounds over the last like six seven uh six seven months oh my god i've been wanting to reach the 480s and i did it oh my god now i'm so proud of you these are coming wow oh i'm so proud of myself okay points. at least someone is there's no physical change to you whatsoever so i'm i'm so so incredibly proud so the spoiler yes yeah, she gains it all back fantastic it's just silly you know i just this is the thing, because I don't care that she's heavy. I don't care that Glitter and Laser is heavy. I don't care that Foodie's heavy. I don't care what Boogie's heavy. I don't care like any of these people are actually fat. Like, what I care about is the weird obsession with lying about it. Like, Foodie's blatant lies about her weight. Amber's blatant lies about her weight. Boogie's blatant lies about their weight. And are also using it to try and make money and also be power social with their audience to gain sympathy. And, of course, Glitter and Laser is just mental. <laughs> it's just kind of mental. He's been on a, a fitness journey for, like, a full year and has lost like zero pounds apparently looks exactly the fucking same like i almost cried i had like a couple tears in my eyes i'm very wow. proud of myself so in but, but you didn't when you thought your dog was in, in super pain and it was so sad but you, you you didn't cry or tear up or anything for that but no you cried because you lost two pounds all right total um from my highest weight i am down 82.8 pounds so that's amazing <laughs> michelle if i lost 200 pounds i'd be non-existent if amber lost 200 pounds she'd still be morbidly obese that's the thing that's why like amber it's just like so unimpressive when she makes a claim to me it's like i lost like one pound you know like when she do like a weekly weigh-in and she's lost like 1.6 pounds or something like that and it's like at least it's the loss and it's like if you keep losing at this rate you will 100 percent be dead before you reach 400 pounds and then since the beginning of this year, I'm down 28.2 pounds. Wow. I'm almost down 30 pounds. Really bad. Like, re like really. Like, really bad. Like, really, really bad. Yeah, like, uh, honestly, probably uh, awful. Like, probably the worst thing ever. Like, it's been, what, what are we? We're four months in. We're, four, we're, 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 sorry, we're in the fourth month of this year, and she's lost 28 pounds. Oh, guys, she's such an inspiration, especially when she weighs over 500 pounds. Like, how much did I lose during the water fast? Remember the water fast thing I did? How much did I end up losing? Because I forgot about that because it's, I don't know, it's so inconsequential in my life. But, like, I feel like in, like, the five days I did a water fast, I probably lost, like, what did I lose? I probably lost, like, six pounds, was it? Five, six pounds? I think it was in total. I lost, like, when she's, lo like, 500 pounds, like, twice me, you know, over twice me. Uh, and she's, like, happy for losing 20-something pounds or something like that. I did a water fast. I did. For my 5,000 subscribers, I did 
uh, Foodie Beauty's five day water fast. So I did like five days of where I recorded, like reacting to each of her videos in turn. And I did the water fast along with her. And I commented, so like when I did the first one, I'd already done been on the water fast for a day. So I commented on how I felt and all, like compared to how she felt. And then we kept doing it until like the five days thing. It was good fun. I enjoyed it. Like that's incredible. Like I told myself in the beginning of this year, like I need to do it because wow. I'm 33. I am not getting any Oh my God, she's 33. Didn't she like want to like do it previously because I'm 27, because I'm 26, because I'm 25. That's just she like use that excuse like constantly. I'm not getting any younger. Any younger? Yes, I'm young at wow. heart. I think so you're kind of childish. Yes, I'm young at heart. I'm so childish. I'm so quirky. I'm a girly pop. Oh my God, guys. Really? Like, Cooper did not. Cooper, where the fuck are you? Where are you? Are you in the hall? Where are you? <laughs> she's in the hall she's in the hall like she also likes to lie upside down my hall one of my hall walls in particular i was like hello how are you you doing well okay you coming in now yeah okay hello good girl like she likes to lie against the wall like upside down so anytime she's getting up she kicks herself off the wall so like for about like about two feet up there are just scratch marks up my wall in the paint like not like really serious ones or anything like that but it's just one of those things it's like well before i sell this place i know where i'm gonna have to repaint know that right, Lisa, have fun. There. but deep down like for real for real your Bro. girl's getting old like i got the gray hair to show for it so Bro, you're 33 <laughs> I'm getting old. You're 33. I guess for like a 600 pound person, this is probably end of life kind of stage, but like 33, bro, that's it. Instead of just like trying to be perfect overnight, I slowly just like intuitive ate for, I want to say a little over two months. Uh -huh. It was working. It was doing good. No, you've constantly claimed that you were perfect overnight. Just like because you kept failing those diets, wasn't you like, well, I wasn't trying to be perfect overnight. No, you were. And then you kept doing them for like a week and then suddenly failing or suddenly gaining weight or suddenly getting depressed or suddenly changing or whatever the fuck it is. Um, uh, by the way, I'm 33, no gray hairs. Well, Lisa, that's like, I have had gray hairs since I was like 18. You know, I'm just one of those guys. I'm just one of those guys who just gets the sporadic gray hairs because I don't know, I just do. So her being, I'm 33, I have gray hair. I'm old. It's like pro gives a shit about a gray hair but now you know i was like hey a couple weeks ago let's kick it up a notch like i want to be aware of how many calories i'm eating so uh -huh. i weigh and measure all my food my goal is to stay below two this is literally what you've been claiming for the past how many years i was gonna say six months ever since i break up with feline but how long you know some calories and this video is just showing you guys what i decide to eat today there's no rhyme or reason for most of my meals it's just don't eat that's weird because in the last time i heard you talking about your diet you had like a very strict diet plan where it's like in the morning i have my coffee and some eggs eggs and then for lunch i have this and then for dinner i have like i can't remember what it was it was like some like frozen meal that she's been having recently like a veggie frozen meal or something like that and she had bought like a whole pile of them because she's intended to have them every single night for dinner it's so weird now suddenly there's no rhyme or reason or plan to her diet whatsoever junk junk like i'm not sitting around eating candy trust me it has been i went to school with a guy who went, went totally great at 16 <laughs> bought all the alcohol for us see i had a beard at 16 so i did that for us but it was like because you have, have the beard people are, when you have a beard you're less likely you're gonna be like uh, ever stopped i so i didn't have any gray hair with that so that didn't help one of my mates had like a just like a white circle in his hair like just one like circle like an exact circle in his hair went like white and like it wasn't like gray it was like just totally white so i don't know what happened there but yeah it was just like a white circle hard i do want me some candy sometimes so like the other day i allowed myself to have a serving of sour gummy worms wow it was so good it was like the brain trolley or something like it tasted so like crazy because normally i would allow myself to have those things every single day but since i'm only allowing myself to have them like in moderation it's like when i finally do have them i'm like wow let's savor this and like really enjoy it so she's like I, I, we're only at 1.25 but she feels like she's speaking like really fast today maybe she just had the sour gummy worms here and she's on a fucking sugar high today i am staying home it's so very I anime coded <laughs> with, the, with the white spot yeah i guess it kind of is it's a bit main character isn't it everything i will be eating will be at home there will be no uber takeout the only time i allow myself to eat like restaurants hey unlimited welcome back <laughs> don't worry i i disappeared from doing like live streams at all for ages i generally don't do that many live streams anymore but welcome back is if i physically go there myself so if i'm with my mom or family or friends today is not one of those days but i do want to film of what i ate today like Fantastic. the next time i go out to eat just to show you guys kind of like how Why? i do it not everyone will agree with me but i will say that what i am doing is working so let's get into is it because like like i said there's no physical change like whatsoever but yes you can eat out with while well, still like losing weight that is 100 percent like it is so easy to do um what game persona yeah like um unlimited let us know what game it is i'm assuming if it's been months it's probably persona or three reloaded because i probably would take a couple of months to get through just to spoil it i haven't even started playing it yet <laughs> i haven't even started playing yet i mean so 
fucking busy recently. Yeah, I haven't. Uh, also, Boogie Meltdown on Twitter have been next level. Really? Maybe I'll have to check in. Oh, Zeno Gears. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll have to check in again on Boogie, but I just, I'm so uninterested in him because he's just like smearing shit across himself and screaming, you know, like, please, please just look at me, guys. And I'm like, nah, I don't really want to look at you. Just... To my first meal. Okay, so my first Oh, meal... yeah, but like I said, you can 100% like eat out and, lo and lose weight. When I was on keto, I used to still go out and eat. Because like, if you go to somewhere like, um, like Nando's, Nando's is like a chicken restaurant. Um, I've had it for anyone who's like outside the UK. I don't know if it's all over the world. But uh, you go to Nando's, you can just order like like a butterfly chicken or something like that. Or like chicken legs or chicken wings or something like that. You can just have something like that on keto and it's like totally fine. So even when I was on keto, I still went out with my friends. It was like a friend was like, do you want to go for coffee? I was like, yeah, 100%. I would go out for coffee with them. And I just get like an espresso or like Americano or something like that. Something that's like a black coffee because you can still do It's still... Like, as long as you're some way intelligent, but it's 100% doable. The biggest problem for her is that she has, like, binging disorders. So, like, obviously, she's the one you should be scared of, like, going out because she's the one who's, like, you know, give in and just order everything on the menu. No, I'm having one of these sweet Italian chicken sausages that I'm just cutting up. I'm going to cook it's it in so a pan. It's so exciting. Which I am using in a pan? pan which is no. Low calories. She's using palm in a pan? No, you crazy bitch. Speaking of Pam, when I do use, like, oh actual oil... I don't care. I don't care that you pretend you measure everything out. I don't care. Because, I'm sorry, oil in particular is something that I don't even care. Even, I do not care about measuring out. I don't care about measuring out the exact amount of oil or the exact amount of butter. If she's going to do that for, like, I'm calorie counting so specific, I even count the oil. It's like, bro, it's not that much. It's, it's just being cooked. I will weigh it on my scale before I use it. She actually did, yeah. it does have calories. So I also... That is so fucking stupid. You And how... I, I'm going to weigh it on my scale before I use it because it does the calories, but how, then you spray it. How the fuck do you know how you, much you're using? That doesn't make any sense. I have um, some leftover rice, which is two so servings, crazy. like 320 calories. Uh -huh. And then obviously my typical soy sauce. We have some oh, garlic, sodium, sriracha. It's sodium, just my go-to. It's what sodium. I like. And I'm also going to have Eggs. one egg. So it's going to be like a one egg. I hate the way she said it. And it's so deliberate that she's saying it like that. I thought she was like cutting out like, like salt. Like I'm assuming this... This chicken sausage is probably full of salt. Then you got soy sauce. Then you got sriracha, which I think has a decent amount of salt in it as well. I'm assuming it's probably a lot. A fried rice moment. Okay, oh my so my sausage has been cooking for a bit. So I'm going to add my rice now. She said sausage like fucking case cooking, dude. I also have, obviously, my minced... Oh my god, I'm getting rice everywhere. My minced garlic, I'm a messy cooker. One thing that... Yeah. Uh, y'all want to know about me I'm well you probably would do better if you were like cooking like without using like one hand to hold a camera maybe if you had like a try hard uh, try hard if you had a try hard <laughs> tripod and you like invested in a tripod like it's even during the time period like i've made references that it's like why aren't you using a tripod you've been like doing this for like a decade now and you still don't even have a tripod very messy when i cook but anyways yeah i also have my minced garlic up in there wow so i'm gonna add just a little bit of sriracha wow a little bit of soy sauce here. Very crackly. Just... Oh god, this is so boring. <laughs> That's all I have to say. This is I just muted it because I'm just like staring at it because it's just so fucking boring. Look at me, I'm stirring some rice. It's like, wow, you're not a cooking channel. I don't care about you cooking. You're bad at cooking. That's all I care about. Egg! That was a good jump cut I there. I just want to scramble. Yep, yep. So oh. if I could change anything about this, I wish I had some like green onion. Oh my God, that's okay. so good. Did you not buy it? Is there a green onion shortage in Oklahoma that I'm unaware of? Okay, you guys, so it is finished. Now I'm going to put it in my bowl. You're gonna, in that bowl, in that bowl right there. You, crazy, that's insane. I'm glad she showed us the bowl first before she did it. So this is 500 calories in total, but that is a perfect yep. amount for my first meal. That's usually around is where it? I keep it. Wait, for your first meal? So this is your fucking breakfast? You're having fried... You're having fried rice for breakfast. What? Who has fried rice for breakfast? This is like a hangover food. I think I would ever have fried rice for breakfast if I had Chinese like the night before and I woke up hungover. I was like, okay, I'll just reheat my Chinese from last night. This, like, this, I, I was not expecting this to be a breakfast. Okay, guys, so I haven't even tried it yet, but I want to let you know that I'm also going to be having a... Oh, my w, God. The Zero Sugar Root Beer. Wow. So good. This does so not good? taste like diet soda at all. Oh, have we moved on? Are we going to do that meme? Like, Gatorade, no longer best friend. Friend, The friendship with Gatorade has ended. Now, A and W, whatever the fuck that was, his best friend or whatever. All right, let's try a bite. Why are you so talkative tonight? What are you talking about? What's happening? <gasps> you don't even know what's happening. You don't even know what's happening. Are you worried about Twonk? Don't worry, Twonk's fine. Twonk has a tooth ache. Oh, and a lot of people are like, why do you use plastic silverware? Like, it is literally asked that every single time. Girl, he's a culture expert. That's like Amber, she's just, she's showing her Asian roots because she's Irish, Portuguese, and also 
a Malaysian we'll go with, Vietnamese, we'll go, she was good. She's one, she's one of those. She's show, showing her like deep cultural roots here. These, these are not plastic, they're just uh, black. So okay. yeah, it's just regular silverware. That's so, well, it's not silverware if it's black. <laughs> what the fuck? Silverware kind of implies it's silver, like like actually like made of silver. It's cutlery, if you if you don't mind. Do you Ameri or do Americans just call everything silverware instead of cutlery? Is that it? Would I recommend a water fast? Water fast is fine. I thought water fast was easy. Um, because when you know you can't eat, there's no like inclination to eat, you know? Because if you're water fasting, it's like, well, I can't eat anything. So it's like, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, it's not like where you're just like, oh, I'm really hungry. What should I have? Oh, maybe I should have this healthy thing, but I don't really want that healthy thing. Or maybe I want the well, it's utensils. It's plastic. Well, it's it's either plastic or it's so cheap that it looks plastic. Both of which not great options. But yeah, water fast I thought was really really easy. I thought a water fast was like no bother whatsoever. Like if you if you can get into keto, you're probably fine. You know, you're probably fine if you get through like the first day or two because like it's like the headaches and all. But if you do like keto regularly, then then you'll be used to the headaches. Mm. Admittedly, the the. Uh, Chantel described the you, you get a bit of the shits going. Yeah, that's that's not super great. Happy dance. But that's only really like delicious. what for one day you'll get that. So that's mm -hmm. pretty quick. We'll pass through. Oh my god, are we just ten out of ten. Happy. Oh my god. See, ASMR. I have nails, guys. Do you I like have them? Have ASMR segment in each one of my videos. Yeah, because it's your personality, I guess. Like, I have nails. That's my personality. Chantelle is back in Canada, yeah. Okay, you guys, so next meal is pretty simple. I'm gonna have oh, some turkey God. meatballs, some broccoli. I couldn't even pretend to give a fuck. I'm going to cook these, and then I'm gonna- Uh, executive decision, I'm, I'm gonna skip through the cooking segment. The habit of actually weighing my food. So okay. I need to add some tapatio to the sauce because it has wow. spice to it. So now I'm gonna see if these meatballs are done. Oh my God, this, this is, is so boring. Is she allergic to water? She's allergic to losing weight, I think. It's supposed to go up to 165, but in my brain, I want it to go up to like 175. Oh, beautiful. Which it is. Wow. Let me try another one. Just You're cooking meatballs. Just look at the time. It's literally on that bag. We'll say it takes this long to cook. And then you just do like, what is it? It's like for the, an air fryer, it's like 20% of the time off. So you just do like an 80% of the time cook. Isn't that all you do? Back boobs, back boobs, lower back boobs, and also upper back boobs. Because she's got like, as Michelle points out, we got like a triple... E going on here. We got a triple G going on down here. We got a wee A cup up there though. <laughs> she has like a snowman design in the back. <laughs> Someone pointed that out for Chantel in my video where I was talking about um I was talking about Chantel going back to Canada and someone described her as a snowman shape. This is a snowman shape because you got the wee head on top, then you got the torso, and then you got the the legs. <laughs> Also, those meatballs are pre-cooked. I assume they probably, yeah, you probably could just cook them in the microwave. When you said meatballs, I honestly looked at that and said, that does look like one meatball, two meatball, three meatball. <laughs> yes, these are finished. Boobs everywhere, guys. So now I'm going to wow. the meatballs. They look okay. so dry. Like, thankfully, she's putting them in sauce, but they look so fucking dry. Calorie meal. Like, I'm telling you, it is Why so don't you just make your own meatballs? Meatballs are incredibly easy to make. Low calorie, it's going She's to rage baiting? That wouldn't surprise me. It went, like, everything Amber does, everything Foodie does recently, everything Boogie does recently, that's why I'm just so, like, over, like, you know, a lot of the, like, the drama they have going on around them. It's like, oh, are we doing this? We're doing this, really? Oh, okay. But I can't wait to share once it's finished. Oh, uh, so, so exciting. I'm gonna let that probably cook for, like, two minutes. Well, I'm not. Days. There you I go. I already know this is gonna be good because I cooked this, like, literally last night. I already know this is going to be good because I cooked this. She should have sent, like, finished the sentence just there because everything she makes, she thinks is the best thing ever. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is so good. Is it so good? And I'm not going to lie to you. This is the best frozen broccoli I have ever had in my life. <laughs> what a fucking... What a statement. This is the best frozen broccoli I've ever had in my life. I would be so sad if those words ever escaped my fucking lips. <laughs> this is the best... These are the best frozen broccoli I've ever had. Imagine you go to a restaurant and it's like, mm, my compliments to the chef, the best frozen broccoli I've ever had. <laughs> it's like if you go to like a fucking shitty fish and chips and you get like the chips and all, most of the chips are obviously like fucking frozen. It's like, mm, my, my compliments to the chef, the best frozen chips I've ever had. Because usually when They're I not even that mushy. Like it's only ever like the gross little stems. It's never the actual uh, like, Oh, of it. wasabi's alive, guys. This one is actual broccoli florets. So 10 out of 10. Wow. 
Which is weird because you, you previously always cut the stock off because you're a texture girly and you didn't like the stock. But these are your favorite. Fro these are her favorite frozen broccoli ever because they have the stalks. Even though when she's cooking fresh broccoli, she cuts the stock off because she doesn't like them because she's the texture girly. But for some reason, the inclusion of a stock in frozen broccoli makes them the best. Outstanding. This bowl is so hot. I need to set it down. Why is it hot? Wow. <laughs> Hot. Oh my god, quick. crazy. So a new drink that I've been loving lately, and I'm not even like... Isn't water, evidently. Like a green tea girly. Oh my god. Diet green tea mixed berry, and the brand Lipton. Uh, I don't even like... I used to like Lipton, like Lipton's iced teas and all. I don't like them anymore. It's so good. Oh. I love she like even includes that drink. She even includes a fucking drink. It'd be so good on top of this. Oh my god. What is your guys' favorite vegetable? <laughs> you. <laughs> You, honest to God. If we're going for IQ standards, you are my favorite fucking vegetable. Jesus. I don't know, guys. What is your favorite? Like, she's asking the important questions here, and I feel like it'd be remiss of me just to move on without finding out. What is your favorite vegetable, guys? Honestly, mine is spinach. I do like me some spinach. Mine is a potato. Uh -huh. Tater tots. Uh -huh. Potato. <laughs> guys, you got it? I choked it. Remember I... Remember I choked on a potato? Remember that guy? Do you get, remember, uh, do, you, do you like me? I meant on the joke. Just like in the last video, when I said I ordered a pack of crisps, I ordered an apple and they gave me a packet of crisps. Do you remember, do you remember that? No? Okay. Jesus. I love potato. She man. loves me. She does. That's a shout out. That's a specific shout out just to me. She loves me so much. Potato, baked potato, french fry, you know. Snarky potato. <laughs> Angry potato man. You know, all the types of potatoes that I really like. Shay Cat, I like a Brussels sprout. Shay Cat, get the fuck out of my chat. <laughs> Who likes Brussels sprouts? Like, genuinely. Oh, disgusting. Oh, bleh, I spit on you. Disgusting. Spinach, Matthew, good take there. Iceberg lettuce. Get, Barbary, get out of my chat as well. Mamma Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. I don't know why I said Mamma Mia. I said I went Italian, but I was going to say Mamimi. <laughs> Mamimi, get out of my chat as well for Brussels sprouts. <laughs> bok choy. Bok choy is a good choice. Uh, sweet potato. Um, broccoli. Onion. Onion. Other broccoli. There's a lot of broccoli. Onions going on here. Potatoes. Fantastic. I shit on you. <laughs> was that a ducks? Are you secretly Salah? Suddenly we got Salah in chat here saying he's going to shit on me. <laughs> we all have potatoes. Well, obviously. Oh, Mamma Mia. <laughs> But outside of that, I do love cauliflower. Meat. Hmm, I don't really like cauliflower that much. I like cabbage. Cabbage is pretty nice. Parsnips, parsnips are pretty good. Cabbage, mm, cabbage kimchi. Cabbage in general is pretty good. Tomatoes, get the fuck out. Get get out. Just disgusting. Bell peppers, bell peppers, pretty good. <laughs> Some dried chicken wings. Airbus also my favorite vegetable. <laughs> some onion, and I love me some broccoli. Amber, no one's Honestly, even listening. I've always been a vegetable. Girl. We're not even I'm listening to you at this point. Let the fat shaming commence. It wasn't. Uh, let the fat shaming commence. You're 550 pounds. You're the one claiming, oh, I'm so healthy and I eat vegetables all the time. You're 550 pounds. You don't get the 550 pounds eating fucking cabbage, kid. How like my older years. I've actually been like enjoying fruit. Like if you were wow. asking a kid, do you want fruit or vegetable? I would have literally said vegetable. Wow, that's so weird. Cause in the time table thing we're watching, you eat like a lot of fruit. So it's so weird if you, so like make this claim. Let the fat shaming commence. You're such a perpetual fucking victim, bro. Bro, if you like vegetables that much, there is literally no way you would be at the weight you are. Okay, you guys, so the next there, thing. There, thanks. I'm be this is what I was talking about. The frozen meals, Amy's frozen meals. That's what she said. Like, this is like, her saying, this don't, why did you peel it like that? They literally use like a thing to pull there to like rip it open, but she peeled it from the end. Weirdo. This is Amy's bowl. It's chili mac. Oh my I love god, Amy's, that looks fucking I gross. This one just sounded so weird. And then a few weeks ago, I tried organic rice pasta. I don't think I've ever had rice pasta before. Tried it after like years of dismissing it, and y'all, it's. Did she really? Was that like that was so deliberate? There was even a pause before she said it. Dismissing it. Really? Okay, fantastic. There's even a pause. It was so fucking blatant. One of my favorites. It's only 410 calories. Oh my god! Guys, I do add some tap. It literally looks like fucking diarrhea. Jesus, that is... Like, if you only had... Like, Millie, she's pretending she's working off like 1,800 calories, and I don't even see where she's getting 1,800 calories, because right now she's like, well, this is 500 calories, this is 400 calories, and it's like, where are we getting the 1,800 from? Millie, she did have some sour gummy worms, I guess. If I have 400 calories to spend, I would not use it on fucking this. Like, this is gross. The teal to it because I do like the spice. Uh -huh. This is it's so the only thing good. you can taste. TV dinners aren't healthy, but I will say that oh. Amy's is a healthier version. Plus, like I've said before, I'm very. If you like cooking so much, why don't you just cook? Like, I just don't get it. 
34% of your daily sodium in just this, Jesus. Like, if, if you like cooking so much, why do you need to have, like, a TV dinner, What it, like, as Americans call them? Why don't you just, like, I don't know, cook something yourself if you enjoy it so much? Because, like, cooking something actually for her would be good because it actually burns calories because she'd be up on her feet, like, working away here, you know? So it'd actually be, like, beneficial for you. It'd waste your time so you can't sit there and eat extra food because you'd be up on your feet for an extra 30 minutes cooking instead of, you know, quickly opening a box and sticking it in the, the, the microwave for, um, what, like, uh, five minutes, sorry, three minutes and one, and then one extra minute, you know? So instead of it taking you like four minutes to make this, it would take you half an hour to cook actual food and it's you up on your feet, stepping back and forth, walking around, lifting things, everything like that. It would actually be good. Very much just focusing on staying under calories and not ordering takeout. Wow. And with my Amy's bowl, I will. <laughs> Whoever said she's rage betting earlier on? Okay, yeah, you're right. Like, come on, this is so deliberate. This is like fucking army roll call. Someone's about to get a beasting for this. <laughs> Line up, fit the vision! <laughs> She has seriously set them out. It's like you're going into, like, a garage. You've gone into a garage to pick up a fucking, like, can of Coke or something like that. This is, like, their fucking displays in there. We'll be having a water. Wow. So Our lonely water tucked away all in the corner. I am trying to drink more water because I know you guys told me. I, obviously, I saw your fridge there. There's so much water. But I need to. Don't worry. I hear you guys. Wow. I hear you guys. So I actually... Oh, but don't worry, guys. I hear you guys. Bro, well, this is seven years later. This is seven years later. Like I said, from the timetable uh, theater videos, it is so fucking blatant because he's just doing exactly the same shit. I just got done playing Mario Party with some friends of mine. Wow. Oh, it's a CPU. My, my friend, uh, CPU1, uh, CPU2, and CPU3, or as I like to call them, Mario, Luigi, and Peach, my good friends. While doing so, we all had a little bit of snacks. Uh -huh, I sure. what I had, so that's what you're seeing here. I had a sun kiss. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, firstly, suspiciously, there's no one else around. Like, you're having... these. This is your snack you're having with with your friends. There's no one else around. There, there's nothing else here. And you're, I don't know, watching something on your laptop. You're not playing Mario Party. So, I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling you. Just Colby Jack cheese and some salami. But it actually came out with... Okay. So, right now, we're on, like... 21% like of your daily uh, sodium and 34% of your daily sodium for the last one. 535 calories for the snack. Wow. Then eating for the night. For your snack. Your snack had more calories in it than your dinner. That's insane. So I had 1,758 calories. But you know of a hard salami. Like below 2,000. I feel like my sweet spot, the spot that makes me really happy is when I am like in the 1600s or the 1700s. So I did really good today in that regard. Uh -huh. so if I drink anything else. I don't think you did. You, it sounds like you actually went over it now. Especially if the, like your snacking was... 550 calories. It sounds like you went over 1,600 calories. For the rest of the day, it will be water. There were multiple times today where I wanted to order takeout. That is... <laughs> the friends are wasabi rarity on Twonk. The other thing is, if you ask them, they probably wouldn't even pull as being her friends. How it goes every single day for me. It is a daily feeling where I just... A game with YouTube on the background? So do I. I had two screens for literally that reason. It's not even like to help me with videos or anything. It's because I have such like a bad attention span. I like to have like a video or like a movie. Like I was playing uh, Fortnite the other night and I had Fargo on my other screen because I never watched Fargo. So I was playing Fortnite whilst watching Fargo. <laughs> Fargo, by the way, fantastic movie. Really, really good movie. I kind of, when I was on the plane, I watched, was it, was it on the plane? I'm trying to remember now. It wasn't, because it wasn't on the plane. I think it was, I think it was probably just before, one of the days before I went. I watched No Country for Old Men, finally. And it really got me in the, in the mood for like those kind of like movies because like Coen Brothers and all. Uh, so I decided to finally watch Fargo and it was great. Want to the movie? I didn't know there was a series. Oh, there's a series on Netflix now. Cooper, have you seen the series? You have? Is it good? Does it, does it live up to the standard of the movie? I like the movie, but it's also because I think the accents are funny. So it's probably like you guys watching my videos where you're laughing at my accent. I was also laughing at their accent. <laughs> order something, whether it just be like a bag of chips and wow. Snickers, or I want to order a large fry from McDonald's. Like uh -huh. I have random cravings. Multiple Wow, crazy. That's so weird. Honestly, I like a large fry from McDonald's. Like, there might be less sodium in it than the fucking salami that you ate. And also, probably be like under 550 calories. I don't know what a large fry is. I haven't had a large fry in fucking forever. So, I actually have no idea what the calories in it. Do you read uh, McCarthy's books? Okay. I've always wanted to read Cormac McCarthy's books. But, first, the thing is, with uh, No Country for Old Men, I had no idea it was a Cormac McCarthy book. I uh, like it, That's what inspired the movie. I had no idea whatsoever. Until the end of it, and it came up based on a book by Cormac McCarthy, and I was like, oh, shit. And I just saw it, I was like, that makes so much sense, because that movie is fucking dark and really bleak. And the only other movie based on a book from his that I've read 
is um, uh, The Road, which is also very dark and very bleak. Because I remember leaving the cinema after watching The Road and I felt like kind of like empty inside because it's like, wow, that was just really dark. <laughs> and I've never, I've really liked to watch it again, but I never watched it again because I just know it's, I, it felt so, so dark. Um, but I, I have The Road. Uh, I've never read it. Uh, and I would like to, at some point, sit down and actually read it. Because um, it's written in an interesting style, because like the characters obviously don't have names, and it's like the, the man and the boy. Um, really interested, we'll, we'll read it at some point. Um, I don't know, it kind of got... Maybe once I watch Fallout, I don't know, the road kind of gives me a bit of a Fallout feeling, I don't know why. Multiple times a day. So when that happens, what I do is... Maybe it's I father and son. myself wherever I am when that happens, and I truly... It's an extremely dark book. Yeah, Emily, that's the thing. The movie was very dark, and I'm assuming the book is probably going to be a lot darker. That urge. I'll remove myself from whatever I'm doing, and I'll start doing something different. So a good example of that is, like, an hour ago, I wow. had this weird urge to come up... Wasn't an hour ago you were playing uh, Mario Party with your friends? <laughs> Wasn't wasn't that an hour ago, guys? Wasn't it an hour ago she was playing Mario Party with her friends? Over me, where I was like, oh my god, I want some Cheez-Its. Wow. No idea where it came from. You know, if I was- uh, Your stomach, your super morbid obesity, everything like that. I wasn't like really trying to lose weight right now. Books is good for your brains. My, you know what, you're correct. Books is good for your brains. Ordered them. And when I had that feeling, I was actually journaling. So I stopped journaling completely. I stood up and I started doing the dishes. So it just helps wow. me because like I'm removing myself. She's just saying like such like- nothing statements that I've seen and I have personally said myself dozens of times loads of people have said this loads of reaction channels have said loads of people in their comments have said this is you need to actually do something with your fucking life to distract you from eating because if you don't do anything with your life but like sit there and watch like movies or something like that she's mansplaining <laughs> main character splitting <laughs> like she is seriously just sitting here saying guys if you guys think about eating maybe it's a good idea to get up and like go and play a video game or something like that instead it's like no, Amber, really. Thanks for being so fucking insightful. From doing something to starting to do something else. And for some reason, it's just like... All right, Lisa, enjoy. My brain, and I'm able to be more focused on what I just started doing. Because I really do have a short attention span. So... Ducks, can someone send that book to Amber Lynn's P.O. Box so she can pretend she's reading it? Weirdly, the P.O. Box just hasn't popped up again. It's almost like she actually wasn't being sent, like, dozens upon dozens of things per day from her audience because she never set up a P.O. Box. And weirdly, there's not been, like, a public outcry from all of the hundreds of people trying to send her stuff. It's weird. It's almost like that was, like, totally made up and it was just, like, other sponsorships or being, like buying stuff off Amazon and just opening it for herself as a gift for herself. But like, you never read The Road because The Road is about like a man and a boy and neither of them are like, like overweight lesbians with BPD that she can self insert herself into. So by changing tasks, it helps in a multitude of ways. But anyways, it's just another day that I was successful at staying under my goal and saying no to taking out my phone and ordering on the Uber app. So I'm very wow. proud of that. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. And I'll I didn't, it was absolutely dog shit. <laughs> To put it as bluntly as humanly possible. It's been a year since Kick It. Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> when you're having fun watching Amber videos, I guess. I thought she raged close to PO Box. No, she kept it open until she moved. She kept it open right up until she moved. Um, yeah, no, she. it's only because she's moved away from there. That's why she um, closed it. And, and she claimed that she was going to open one when she arrived. But then she just never did it. You know, even though she's been in this place for like, what, six, six months now, I guess? Oh, God. So bad. As well, the rate of her being sent gifts is on par with like Red Letter Media and VCRs. Exactly, yeah. I was like, the, the amount of gifts she got was just silly. You're just sitting there going like, bro, I just don't believe you. Like, it's like always pretending everyone in the entire world is like a friend of hers or like I met a subscriber today or I went out and had, a, you know, I was having dinner and the re the waiter came up to me and said he was a, like a subscriber of mine. It's so crazy. And then I was walking through Walmart and a subscriber came up to me and it's like, bro, you're like, a nobody and that's really like you know it's really direct but she's like a nobody she gets like fifty thousand, you know views per video like she's like a nobody that's uh, that's it like i don't even know on my main channel like i'm genuinely curious because i haven't checked my main channel in so long which is like silly probably that i keep calling it like my main channel um because i just i don't know i don't up upload it really to it anymore Okay, there's a, a video on mine well, there's actually several videos of mine that are over thirty thousand views now each um and like I said, she gets 50,000 views per video. Like, do you have to do taxes? Oh, yeah, obviously. Um, there's like, you obviously like think, like she, she's 50,000 views. She's not really a big dog, but she thinks everyone in the world knows me. I'm going out, people are constantly coming up to me and telling me that they're a subscriber of mine. Everyone's recognizing me and they're getting photos taken with me, even though there's never any photos of her that, that appear at, at all. 
But like I said, there's there's videos of mine that nearly have as many videos as hers, and I I am literally, literally a nobody, like literally a fucking nobody. It's not hard on YouTube to get a video, get like double digits in the thousands. You know, that's not overly difficult. There are thousands upon thousands, tens of thousands of creators who get like ten plus k videos. You know, but she thinks she is so famous. Everyone in the world's recognizing her and coming up to her. And that's just like sad. It's sad that she just has to delude herself to that level. Um, it's been an hour and a half. Like, uh, like I said, I only wanted to go for about an hour and a half here because what, what's her next video? One sec. I'll check what her next video is here quickly. Uh, see how long it is. Uh, oh, it's, it's just even longer than this one. Okay. Like I said, I only wanted to be on for about an hour and a half here because like I said, I do have work on all in the morning. So unfortunately, I do think we're probably going to have to call it quits here. Um, for, for this uh, live stream and well, well, maybe we'll do another live stream in a day or two or something like that to catch up with a couple more and it'll fit be more or less caught up with her and I can kind of get back to doing like actual videos on her over and over and over again. Um, <laughs> and you don't even have to rage bait and pander to fetish. Well, I, I might pander to fetish. People might really like potatoes. You have no idea. But like I said, yeah, that's it, guys. Unfortunately, like I said, I was doing for about an hour and a half, but I talked too much with chat, so kind of delayed me. But that's why I thought I'd do this on, online, because I thought, why not? This is a lot more fun it, doing it online, because you can actually kind of get a bit of back and forth going. But yes, guys, that is going to be it. I'm going to end the stream here. I'm going to head off for the night. I'm going to go to work in the morning and love it so, so much. Uh, do you end of year taxes in Ireland? Well, in, in Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland's part of the UK. But yeah, we have end of year. Our tax year ends on, in, in April. So yeah. Um, it really depends if you're like self-employed then you have to do like your own taxes. But if you're employed through like a company, then like they will do your tax for you based on tax code provided to you by the HMRC. Um, you know, so it really just depends. We don't have like sales tax or anything like that that you guys do. So I don't have to work out like my sales tax and how much I spent for like businesses and shit. Like I don't have to do any of that stuff, thankfully. But yes, guys, that's going to be it. Have a good one. Take care of yourself.